my friends. And this is um just a quick little video regarding heavens, heaven in the Bible, in the Holy Bible. I've got this book here. I'm not sure the date um, that it was published. It's quite tatty. It's, um, it's my in-laws um, heirloom, family heirloom. It's got an entry in it in 1850 for the, like the family um, entries um, from 1847 I think the, the entry is. But that doesn't actually mean that it was published that time or before it or after it. But um, <clears throat> this here is the Reverend John Brown. The Bible is called Brown's Self-Interpreting Family Bible, containing Old and New Testaments, to which are annexed marginal references and illustrations, an exact summary of the several books, a paraphrase on the most obscure or important parts, Explanatory notes, evangelical reflections, blah, blah. By the late Reverend John Brown, Minister of the Gospel at Haddington, with many additional references and numerous illustrations, let there be light. Okay. James Semple, 19 South Cumberland Street, Glasgow. So that's it, by the way. I'm going to do an in-depth introduction to this book, this Bible, uh, at a later date. It's a whole video, and then I'm going to be reading from it. It's basically your King James. But um, this, firstly, this is the life of the Reverend John Brown. And as it says here, John Brown, minister of the Succession Church and author of the Self-Interpreting Bible, was born in the year 1722 in the village of Carpow in the parish of Abernethy, or Abernethy and County of Perth. I think that's Scotland. So, that's the introduction. So he was born in 1722. Now whether this is as he wrote it, or has it, as it was written when he actually wrote it, I'm not sure. But uh, this is the first book of Moses, called Genesis. Genesis, that is generation, Hebrew, Bereshith, in the beginning. Okay. Now, here we have, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the, upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So we've got side notes here. Oh, I won't read. I won't read. I'm trying to read from the camera. But um, if you want to pause and just have a quick shifty through that bit. But this, this explanatory notes here at the bottom is what uh, might be of interest. Explanatory notes. Chapter 1, verse 1, that is, In the beginning of time and things, the three divine persons, in one Godhead, made of nothing, the third heaven, or residence of the blessed, and the whole matter out of which the air 
and starry heavens, the sea and earth were afterwards formed. Okay? Through faith we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God. Amen. Amen. But the thing that, that sort of struck me was when this was written I'm not sure of the year this was written. I can't find too much or I can't really find any information on the internet. There's nothing that I've come across in the in this Bible that um alludes to a, the time it was originally written that I found yet. But um <clears throat> it says here, and I've just read it, in the beginning of time and things, the three divine persons in one Godhead made of nothing the third heaven, or residence of the blessed. The third heaven. So, can anybody... Oh, there's something else here. See, I'm trying to read it through this camera, which is quite difficult. Of old thou hast laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work of thy hands. So, I don't know whether this is of any help to anybody that remembers in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, that's as I remember it. That might be, my memory may well be from the NIV, the New International Version. So, yeah.